We were talking yesterday if we had a million or billion dollar uh, forecast and uh, we don't have mm. any major weather events happening so yeah. we'll call it a billion dollar forecast even though you might see some rain uh, it's in parts what of the day this it's time what of the you year. expect you know? yeah, I mean, the views are still beautiful, still beautiful. bellingham bay still looking yeah. great uh, but today if folks are getting out and about especially for the game might want to have some options or layers something like that yeah you want to make sure that you're dressed for rain today the cold weather really not too big of a factor our temperatures are actually pretty mild yet again but it is a wet start to the day and we're going to hold on to those rain showers throughout the morning and that could continue into the afternoon and evening so if you're about to hop on the ferry or cross over the mountains come uh, watch the seahawks play expect showers you can see the wet roadways there downtown seattle good morning 45 degrees East and northeast wind at five miles per hour. Notice that pressure is dropping our next weather maker moving in. We're going to see that rain continue throughout the morning and a little uptick in those winds by this afternoon. 47 in Hoquiam, 44 in Forks. Good morning, Oak Harbor, 43. Just a little bit colder as we work our way into central parts of Washington. Those temperatures near freezing with a little bit of a rain snow mixture. All rain here for Puget Sound, especially Everett South, seeing that light rainfall pretty widespread, but it's not too heavy this morning. Notice north of Everett, really not too much for northern parts of Snohomish, Skagit, Whatcom counties, but that will start to build in over the next couple of hours as this precipitation shield starts to move north and we're also eyeing a secondary area of some rain developing near Portland and this is going to lift its way north throughout the day. So we see this initial shield of precipitation move out of Seattle, a brief dry break late morning and then additional rain moves in later on this afternoon just in time for that kickoff of the Seahawks game. So here's future radar 9 a.m. We see that initial rain that's over Seattle right now. It lives north into Skagit and Whatcom County. So we see a brief dry period from say like 8 30 9 10 in the morning good opportunity to take that dog outside but then more precipitation builds in that shield that's near portland moves north into puget sound by around 1 p.m kickoff at 125 so it looks pretty wet and then we see that activity become a little spottier in nature this afternoon into the early evening hours but one thing I'm keeping an eye on is the system has a little bit of instability so there's that possibility of isolated storms for southern Puget Sound even the southwest interior could see a lightning strike or two later on this afternoon more details on that coming up we're going to see the winds also increase from the south this afternoon sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour some gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour upper 40s for the northwest interior high temperatures 50 degrees here in Seattle, even on the east side Bellevue. Good morning, 50 degrees upper 40s, lower 50s for southern parts of Puget Sound. Isolated storms are possible for the southwest Washington coast into the southwest interior, possibly extending into southern Puget Sound. That's what that green shaded area is. That's that thunderstorm risk this afternoon. Isolated uh, cloud, cloud to ground lightning strike is possible as you work your way into central and eastern parts of Washington. A little bit of a rain snow mixture this morning. We hold on to temperatures in the lower 50s for the next few days.